Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Perfect. So, great. Obviously, uh, excited about this. This is my kind of receiving my first pitch and, you know, on the uh, Pitch Investors Live uh, app. And, you know, it's great. I mean, I think uh, looking forward to seeing what you've got to tell me at eput, e And, you know, hopefully uh, it's going to be something that I'm excited about. So, I mean, I'll just give you a little bit of background on myself. You know, I'm a general partner at Sportvest. It's a, a VC fund located here in the U.S., we're a partially tokenized um, fund, and we obviously we, we invest in purely sports, all verticals of sports, whether that be blockchain or tokenized businesses or traditional tech. Um, so obviously, you know, kind of interested when I saw Epo and, you know, read a little bit about what you guys are doing, and, you know, I'd love to get to hear a little bit more. Well, excellent. Well, I'm just slightly ahead of you in terms of uh, uh, the number of pitches done. This is my second. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, yes, well, my name is Sonny and I'm uh, the founder and the CEO of Eatbutt. Yeah. So I, I hope that uh, you, you've seen uh, our videos so you know a little bit about it. Yeah. So, well, uh, literally, I, I would present Eatbutt as a uh, holistic uh, uh, a solution that's bundled up with uh, an e-commerce platform uh, okay. uh, and uh, also a socially interactive uh, gaming console, where the okay. gaming console itself is the key that connects, uh, connects it with the world, all, you know, global audience, all our members on, yeah. on, on, on the global level. So... Uh, Literally, um, the, the problem that we've solved, uh, uh, solved with this, uh, uh, with this uh, uh, project uh, is accessibility and time. Time uh, is very important. Time is money. Therefore, we believe that by bringing the golfing green into an indoor environment is, yeah. uh, as we put it in our video, is where entertainment and commerce merge. Okay. Uh, th therefore, we believe that the problem of accessi uh, accessibility also solves uh, uh, connectivity. Uh, by being connected to the, the, to the whole world, you can practice your putting anytime, anywhere, uh, against anyone, literally. So you, you, you can connect with, uh, with your golfing buddies, with your mates uh, at any time, literally. So you, you're not dependent on uh, going to uh, a golf course. Uh, on Sunday, Saturdays or Sundays, where you will practice only once a week. Now you can yeah. practice golfing anytime, anywhere, as much as you like. Okay. So that, that, that's that's one one uh, problem that's uh, solved. O o also, frequency uh, frequency of the play uh, uh, is, is pretty much the same. Uh, then it, it also. Um, uh, 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 erases that ex exclusivity that golfers have uh, by being a, a member of a golf course only registered golfers um, uh, literally can play now anywhere around the world uh, anyone who, who is a golfer or who is a gamer can play putting and putting is a very very technical technical aspect of uh, of, uh, of of the game so therefore, it's the, the finishing uh, or the last shot before you uh, putt uh, put or uh, get to the hole. Um, yeah. So it, it's very important. The, uh, I will show you, uh, I will show you the, the, the console itself. So it's not connected now, but uh, it, uh, yeah. it went connected. Uh, you have three laser beam lights that give you uh, uh, the continuous ground line that you can align and, and position your... Putter, so you can hit yeah. it, um, uh, in its what golfers like to say sweet spot. And so right. it, uh, it's very precise. Then, then your alignment, your balance is correct, so you can actually get uh, get your shot in the uh, in the hole. So there, there is a camera as well that uh, 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 can show the, the the environment around you, so we can uh, actually see you while while you're putting, just like. Now the two of us uh, talking through Zoom or S uh, Skype or similar uh, software, and also there is um, there is uh, a, 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 a pop a return. Uh, it's a ball return <laughs> mechanism that pops the, the the ball back to you, so you don't need to go and uh, get the ball from the hole. It uh, retrieves the ball uh, for you. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. 
And obviously the kind of like the effect of the gradient, you know, on a traditional golf course, because of course it's not a flat surface. Yes. I mean, what about that? Because, you know, putting, like you said, it's not just a case of putting on a flat surface. Yeah. You know, correct. Yes. Have gradients. Yes. Uh, well, um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, uh, well, uh, uh, a good golfer is uh, considered uh, someone uh, to, to be considered as a good golfer is uh, when you get uh, the ball as close to the hole as possible. So the closer yeah. to the hole you are, the, the the flatter the ground, if you will, becomes. Uh, okay. Anything in in a radius of say three to five meters, you already passed all of the. Uh, all of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, s uh, the different angles of the surface and so on. Um, so uh, the, the, the putting, uh, uh, the, the games that we will be practicing is on the flat surface, but later on we will uh, uh, offer a different, uh, different uh, kind of uh, uh, soil kind of structure. Uh, yeah. uh, instead, of, instead of mats, we can, we can make uh, uh, the, the ground or the surface uh, um, not flat, if you will. Uh, right. That can be uh, as an add-on uh, to to the uh, to the actual putter itself. Once when the putter or the hole is there, it's on the flat surface. N no hole is under an angle. No, I I, right. I, I mean I, I play golf, so you know I, yeah. I understand um, the, to the hole you are. Obviously, the the flatter the, flat the surfaces, but of course you know different courses vary. And I just I mean I was just interested to see you know kind of from a challenge perspective, um, you know, putting challenge perspective as to whether you were looking to maybe, you know, develop out um, something where you do have obviously different, you know, gradients of, of, of the, of the, of the, of the course, so to speak. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, we, we certainly can uh, look into it and develop a game uh, with that kind of uh, background okay. in it. Um, uh, like one of the games is going to be um, you will have a, a bullseye, literally okay. target um, uh, um, uh, on the ground where it it will be displayed by a special laser or camera, yeah. um, and then uh, you will need to get into the center of the bullseye uh, yeah. or, or the target, and then from there you will put into the hole. So we we can invent various games, and I'm sure that our members will. Uh, come up with um, all variety of different proposals uh, to the uh, different games and uh, then it, they, they will develop uh, um, as, as we go. So far we have about seven different games, uh, 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 considering seven different games to put uh, in its initial basic package. Okay. But, uh, and, it, it, sorry, sorry, I was just going to ask you a question and, and like kind of the model, is it a B2B or a B2C model? Uh, it, it, it is uh, uh, it, it is B2C model uh, predominantly. B2B, it can be developed as B2B, but in essence, it would be like let's say let, let's uh, let's mention yeah, any any of the big retailers, Callaway Golf, uh, Ping, uh, Pellet Made, or a, any one of them. They may become interested in say uh, to, to say uh, form some kind of partnership with us, where they will display on our e-commerce platform all of their products. All golf uh, right. apparel, uh, all the you know balls and everything else, um, um, the putters and uh, you know uh, uh, everything that they have on offer, you, you'll be able to purchase through our e-commerce uh, platform. Okay, and obviously you just touched there. Tell me about you know kind of because you have aside from you know the actual um, gamification of the putting, you have you know, the e-commerce, and I think also I read there that you had the, uh, like, a betting part to the business as well. Yes, yes. Like, uh, um, you, you will be able to, to to play for entertainment purposes only, especially the, to our younger members that are under 18. Uh, uh, they will have a, a special membership for that. They will uh, play putting only for say, e-coaching, or they can be trained or, or use uh, the console as a training aid okay. and play games for pure enjoyment or entertainment. Okay. Then you will have a different uh, uh, group of uh, uh, guys that will want to uh, play for money, uh, in essence. Uh, if, 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 uh, if they decide to, to, to put some uh, funds uh, towards a game, they will need to wait for people that will join them in that particular room yeah. And they will they will be able to play for say 
uh, 10 bucks uh, per head for a hundred dollar game let's say right. okay. um, and, and and now you will have people that will be able to to watch these games uh, live streaming that will yeah. uh, pay to view uh, and they will be able to place bets against uh, players in in those rooms okay okay and you, I think I saw there that you mentioned the use of maybe a token or accepting crypto aside from accepting obviously as, 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 a, as, as a crypto uh, uh, cryptocurrency or uh, crypto uh, um, um, uh, a way of payment yes but we, we are not going to have our own crypto cryptocurrency so um, okay. So, so we, we, we will be able to convert them, if you will, to, to, the, to the standard fiat currency, um, but uh, uh, it's something that uh, our members will determine whether they will want to pay by crypto or traditional money. Okay, and um, kind of like a couple of questions would be on the real estate. So when I talk about real estate, I talk about, you know, how much room do you need to operate <laughs> you know, and space for the equipment. Obviously, you've got the putter and then you need the space for the equipment. I mean, is it, is it a standard size? Yes, yes. Well, all of the games will uh, 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 be played within, say, three, five or seven meters uh, radius. So you will be the right. one to determine whether you can play only three meter games yep. or five meter games if you have more room or seven meters. Okay. Um, you can play it in your garage. You can play it in your living room. You know, some some people have huge rooms. They will be able to uh, to to play in in their living rooms, for for instance, or special special room for this particular purpose. Or you know, uh, uh, yes. Well, uh, three meters is is not that uh, not not that uh, big. So uh, a lot of people will uh, be able to accommodate or specialize in three meter uh, putts or putting games. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, kind of it depends, obviously, on, on an individual space. I mean, you mentioned that it was mainly B2C, not B2B. So kind of, you know, on a, from a revenue aspect or from a revenue model, um, you're just going to be selling these units or you're going to be potentially yes, going yes. to be where you lease the units as well. Correct. Yes. Uh, well, well, there are uh, uh, there are seven ways of uh, uh, making revenue that we envisaged. Uh, one of them uh, will be mo regular monthly uh, uh, membership fees. Okay. So, for instance, you want to become our member. The the value we 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 are guessing at this stage that the recommended retail price of, of these devices are around say let's say nine hundred and fifty dollars. Because it's got the smarts inside, it's got a, uh, like a little laptop uh, cameras, uh, laser modules are very expensive, uh, all the design and everything else, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's going to have a very slick, uh, slick design to it. So we envisage that it would a uh, retail recommended price would be uh, around $950. And so what's, we the, to... sorry, what's the cost of the manufacture of the unit? Um, it, it, it would be around, around $300. Around three hundred dollars, yeah. Okay. Um, but we will offer offer it to you free of charge, so you will get the console free. Okay. But but it's uh, literally as uh, if you were buying, uh, say, a mobile phone. You're going on a twenty four month contract. You will pay thirty, say, thirty dollars uh, uh, monthly uh, repayments uh, yep. over twenty four months, and that way uh, you will end up paying uh, a lot less. Uh, it's seven hundred and twenty dollars, literally, over the two-year period. If you become a regular member, so you are getting the so you're getting the console uh, literally free of charge. You can also purchase additional consoles and so on if you uh, if you wanted. Okay, and you know, kind of, obviously, you know, I, I mean, I'm not a, you know, I know a lot of different sports verticals because, of course, I work, you know, for a sports fund. But, you know, when it comes to golf, obviously, I play golf and, you know, play golf for, for a long time. Um, kind of my question would be, there's a lot of other things out there in the marketplace that, are, you know, you've got, for example, if we look at VR, you know, virtual reality. And there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are developing VR for golf. Uh, I mean, kind of what's your advantage or what's different or what's better about your product compared to like a, a vr option ben, ben there, there are a lot of simulators out there as you would know yeah. and uh, yeah. um th th that's n n not something that's real you can you can hit 
you know, uh, and there is no hole. This is a very particular niche, if you want. This is putting only, so the, the, uh, it can't be used for anything else. Uh, I've spoken to golf coaches, and they see the use of uh, the laser beams uh, for for coaching uh, uh, very useful for different yep. shots. Uh, yep. But that's something that uh, uh, golfing coaches will develop with their uh, uh, with their uh, golfers, uh, and they will use it in a different way. Uh, they are free to do so, uh, but uh, the the the, pre, uh, the the main uh, the, uh, aim of this uh, of this device is to connect people and play putts. That's it. Okay. Okay. So virtual. When you when you're talking about sorry, uh, uh, when you're talking about virtual reality, we can also talk about uh, augmentative reality as well. So yeah. that's something that will come later. So you can, you can, if you can envisage you yourself playing in uh, in a room, there is a, a e putt in front of you. There will be another device added to it where all the surroundings around you will uh, resemble a golf course of your preferred right. choice. But that's, that, that that hasn't been done yet uh, no. anywhere in the world. If if it becomes available eventually one day with someone else rather than us. Uh, we will try to get into some kind of partnership with them where we will use such a device to create different environment around you, even though you will be in your own room, but it will look like yeah. you are outside on a golf course. Okay, no, that, that's, that's interesting. I mean, um, so I understand, obviously, that I can't, you've got the subscription model, you've got, obviously, the unit, you know, how it can be split, like you said, like a mobile phone, you know, where you're paying on a, a monthly basis. Um, obviously, understand kind of the cost there. I mean, where are you at? At what stage? I mean, have you do you have you sold any of the products, or do you have have you had it tested? I mean, you know, at what, no, this at what is, stage this are you this at? Is still, this is still an early stage. We are trying okay. to complete uh, the the software interface. So everything that hasn't been done yet is related to software. Okay. Okay. So we are looking to get funding for the final phase to get the software developed. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, um, our own uh, uh, analysis of the software and uh, the hand-picked uh, uh, team of uh, 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 programmers that will be able to do it successfully. Uh, but we're just looking for funding to, to, to complete that. Uh, with that, we will need also to, uh, to complete uh, a, a mobile app, yeah. which, is not, which is not really difficult. It's, uh, it's very simple these days. Um, so with these two, we will be able to to launch the whole project uh, and start getting uh, the memberships uh, in. We've done a trial um, survey in in Australia recently, yeah. and uh, we've uh, got a very very good feedback uh, okay. from uh, uh, a couple of uh, twenty two and a half thousand people within a month expressed an interest to 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 mm. become members. I'll give it a shot and try, try it out. Because okay. at the end of the day, you, you've got nothing uh, much to lose. Um, and uh, uh, unlike any other product out there, EPUB gives you a chance to actually earn money while you're playing and recuperate yeah. any fees, membership fees, or any other fees. They, they can be actually won and uh, put back into your account. So if you're a good okay. golfer, you, you, you can make, uh, you know, you, you can make a quite decent um, earnings or... You know, while well, living out of this, uh, if you know how to play, I think that's where it's going to go. Okay, and on the software side of it, you know, kind of interesting. Obviously, you bringing that up. I mean, the actual the unit there. Obviously, you said it's got lasers, it's got camera. You know, I mean, kind of does it record any specific data? So, is there any data analytics? Or Absolutely. Plan to have Absolutely. the software. Absolutely. Uh, think of this as. Uh, have you heard of uh, Raspberry Pi three? Raspberry Pi three? No, I don't think I'm. Well, it's it's a it's a micro it's a micro laptop PC. Okay. Oh, the smallest one out there uh, available. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I'm a Mac guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so imagine that. Imagine this is a PC. Yeah. Okay. So it can record any statistical data, anything you wish, any any uh, any video footage, anything, and it's very nice. powerful. It's, say, i7 or i5 processing with a lot of RAM with everything else in it. So, literally, you can, you can use this as a PC. 
Does it does it record though things like accuracy or things like speed yes. or uh, you yes. know those types of that that type of raw data so you can compare it against you know other players as to you know your accuracy compared to somebody that potentially you're you know playing with or even competing against yeah if it's a tournament so to speak we've we've got uh, 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 golfers professional golfers and advisors who right. as you would know because you are a golfer yourself uh, yeah. they are very particular about their data statistics and everything else yeah. um, and uh, they've suggested to us you know what needs to be recorded and all of that combined will be included into your profile or your membership so you you, you will have on the software uh, all the statistical data that you want you can pick uh, and uh, in your settings you can uh, customize it to tick off boxes of which data you want to be recorded and the device will record it for you. Okay. And kind of like your plan, so you obviously you said, you know, the funding you're looking for is to kind of develop out and complete the software side of it and, yeah. the, and the app, I think you said, yeah? Yes. Um, so, I mean, you know, what is, you know, what is your offering? What are you looking for funding-wise? We, we are looking for uh, for a half a half a million dollars, five hundred thousand, uh, for five okay. percent uh, uh, equity in the company. Okay, and the company is pre-revenue, obviously. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, the potential, the potential, the way I see it, uh, Ben, is uh, is this: the potential is the potential market uh, is sixty to eighty million registered golfers. That's excluding yeah. juniors or kids. Yeah. But a lot of kids will use uh, uh, the the, the EPAD console to improve their putting skills, even yeah. as a training aid. Even as a we we can sell we can sell this as uh, just an analog training aid rather than a smart digital version of it that can connect to the internet if if you wish for, okay. for, for children. So we're talking about one hundred million golfers and two billion gamers around the world. What we want to attract is 0.01% over the first five years. That comes to around 2 million members. Okay. So it's huge. I think, you know, kind of obviously like from a valuation perspective, you know, 500,000 at 5%, you're valuing 10 million, yeah? Um, you know, it's kind of a high valuation, I think, for a pre-revenue business, particularly as... You know, I mean, from a fun perspective and from how we, you know, how we work and how I look at businesses, obviously, you know, is traction really. And of course, while you have the unit there, the putting unit, you know, it's kind of part of your business. Um, you know, so I think the valuation is kind of a little bit high. Um, I mean, how negotiable are you on that valuation? We are negotiable, but uh, we believe that uh, uh, we are talking about global market. And I understand the, 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 the traditional uh, valuations of uh, startups and, and, and businesses. Uh, this, is, this has got global uh, potential. Therefore, if, even if uh, we attract, uh, say, 20,000 20, members that have ex expressed interest in, in, uh, in Victoria, in Australia, yeah. um, when you multiply that uh, by 700 and uh, and twenty dollars only from the memberships, uh, without including any other uh, uh, revenue streams that we are creating with this. Yeah. Uh, you multiply the twenty-two thousand by seven hundred and twenty over two years. It's it's a pretty good uh, uh, revenue, uh, and and we believe that uh, by uh, introducing all other administrative fees and charges that we will attract uh, uh, for various. Uh, uh, games and uh, e-tournaments uh, uh, live from live streaming, uh, uh, downloadable content if you, if you want, uh, from e-coaching fees, um, we, we, we will generate, uh, we believe we'll generate quite decent uh, revenue. So, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, kind of my concerns would be a valuation because obviously, you know, I understand you're giving me statistics there of kind of 0.001% or whatever it may be, you know, and but the reality is, you know, it's kind of about execution and conversion. And I think, you know, um, I mean, I, what I would like to see or what, you know, what would be good is, is kind of if you, I know you've done testing, obviously, in Australia, it'd be good to obviously, I mean, was that tested at a, at a, at a golf club or? No, that was done through a marketing agency. Okay. I mean, it'd be kind of interesting to, you know, put a couple of these units in, you know, golf clubs, um, 
to get some, you know, I think valuable feed, feedback, addish, additional feedback, but also, you know, it would kind of, you know, you kind of get a better understanding of, you know, because interest is one thing, commitment's another thing. And, and of course, you know, while I understand you've got like this split model where, you know, you can pay for it on a monthly basis, you know, of course, um, people always analyze, you know, value for money, cost, you know, obviously leisure activities, of course, you know, I'm in the sports industry. So I understand, you know, people spend a lot of money on, on sports, on sports and leisure. And, you know, a lot of people play a lot of different sports. So, you know, kind of, it is a good area and a good ecosystem to be in. And I think golf is a good market. You know, there's not loads of bus businesses out there that are in the golf, you know, sector. Um, but I would kind of maybe be like to see, you know, that feedback from a from a couple of clubs. You know, if you could give a couple of clubs those units to test out for a period of time and you could potentially ask them for a small payment just in return, you know, because, you know, at least it covers maybe your 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 overhead for that period of them having it. You know, I think, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to get that valuable feedback. We, um, we've done that. We've done that uh, uh, already um, in, in Melbourne. And also I moved uh, to Belgrade, Serbia. That's where I currently reside because I want to run it from here uh, because yeah. of uh, the actual uh, the, uh, cost of development of this project uh, significantly lower. Uh, we, we've got uh, golfers here at two different uh, uh, golf courses that uh, uh, have uh, all but, uh, po posi uh, uh, very positive uh, feedback. Um, I, I would love to uh, uh, give it to anyone uh, to, to, to give it a shot, but they can only at this stage they can test it as an al analog version. So th this is just as a training device to have them experience the full potential with uh, the software version uh, or digital version of it. We need to de uh, develop the software. So this is of why course. this is why we need to overcome this uh, hurdle, get the software finalized, and then uh, put it out there. Okay. And what's the timeline for like you know deployment oh, of the software if you had the capital? Yeah. Uh, if, if we had the capital now, I can I can complete the software within uh, three to four months, and uh, the full op operating uh, fully operating version of this uh, the, uh, EPUT device uh, can be placed out there and launched in six months. Okay. And obviously, you know, kind of, you know, it's like, obviously it's a, a manual you, you actually physically playing, which is great, you know, because I think, you know, like you said, compared to the, you know, VR, where it's more synthetic, um, you know, so you get more of a hands-on experience, you know, hold, holding the club and seeing, the, you know, the actual the actual putting unit, which is good. I think, um, you know, kind I mean, kind of the esports, obviously, when, when you, you talked about esports and, you know, kind of the esports market, obviously, is going through substantial growth. I think, you know, what are your plans to come into that kind of cross section there? That is our uh, target. That is the market that we want to attack. And, and uh, if, if you look at the, the, the statistics uh, from around the world, you will have about 920 million gamers uh, that are in, uh, involved in all sorts of e-tournaments or e-sports uh, in yeah. Asia, in Asia only. Yeah. So I, yeah. would like, I would like to, to present the, the, this console uh, to Japan, South Korea and China. Uh, not only that uh, China is developing uh, uh, economically, they're developing as... Uh, uh, as, uh, golf is developing in China as well uh, over the last few years uh, at an exponential rate, uh, and uh, it's a huge market. So I would love uh, to, apart from the United States of America, I would love to attract these uh, three countries. Of course, the the, the major the major uh, membership base will come from the states, from the yeah. UK, Canada, South Africa, Australia. Uh, that's where golf is played the most. But uh, I, I would like to attract uh, gamers and esports from, uh, let's say, e Eastern European countries, in including Russia, uh, China, um, uh, uh, South Korea, and Japan. Okay, and you know, obviously, I think you mentioned there was like seven games, I think, uh, or seven programs within the, yeah, within the machine. Yeah. yeah, I mean, kind of. How varying are those games, and you know, are you are you going to be developing more? Because ultimately, like a unit, you know, you're talking about obviously a unit that provides seven options. I mean, it's kind of limited. 
Um, so, I mean, what, is your, what are your plans for developing out oh, further oh, programmes? I understand. Of course, the, the, this, this is an early developmental stage. Uh, the, 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 we've limited ourselves to these seven games to just get the software tested and see how it all happens. Okay. So once that's done, we will get the feedback from uh, various goal, uh, golfers or our advisors to develop different yes. games. So okay. then we will implement those games, and by, by the time uh, we hit the ground running, we will uh, we'll have a, a much larger number of games. So uh, at this stage, it's not our priority to do the, the develop number of games, but develop the software where the, these games will be integrated into. Uh, it doesn't take right. long time to to, to uh, imagine or, or develop a game. Uh, it's, it's right. quick, uh, it can be done quite quickly. While we need to have the infrastructure first and then implement it in there. And what about obviously patents? You know, protecting the software. You know, the technology and you know the the unit. I mean, is it any anything? Well, everything. Patented? Everything is already available in the public domain. Everything. Everything. Right. Okay, but, but, but there are various like this is like uh, uh, Lego. You know, everything uh, is assembled into one unit. Uh, there is nothing much in particular that you can protect. Yeah. Um, so, so it's and software is uh, very complex. Uh, no one is going to spend uh, a couple of million dollars to replicate uh, uh, a, a, a similar a similar device that, uh, that that will do a similar thing. Okay, so, and uh, then. And then, kind of on the cost of the unit, you said it was three hundred, um, like with a market, you know, price of a like nine hundred. I mean, the units are currently what are they? Where are they manufactured? And is there a, a chance that you can reduce the, you know, the cost of that unit? Of course, we 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 are, we are trying to be as economical as possible. They will be produced either in China, okay. or Shenzhen. Or in in Serbia, where labor cost is uh, significantly lower today than in China. Yeah. Unfortunately, even though it's uh, you know Europe, but that's how it is. Um, uh, anyway, uh, we will try to, 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 to reduce the manufacturing costs, uh, uh, but uh, don't forget, uh, we, we have uh, very powerful smarts built into this uh, console. Without the smarts, uh, you can't run it. Uh, this is not a training analog training device anymore, where you can uh, get something built for, say, $50 and sell it for 500 It's not yeah. the case. Um, and we believe if, if you find a, a comparison uh, between, say, the console with a lot of smarts in it uh, against uh, a stick, golf and steel, putter, uh, for a putter, you can spend $500 today easily. It's only yeah. a stick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, we believe that the cost, uh, the, the, the cost uh, uh, can be reduced, but the, the retail recommended price should be somewhere around the, the envisaged mark. Okay. And you know, I've lost, I've lost the other picture. You've lost me. Pic you've lost my picture. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I can see you. I can't see you. <laughs> That's strange. I can see both of us. So um, okay, maybe it'll come back. But I mean, yeah. you, you know, my my question would be kind of, you know, what are your main competitors in the marketplace at the moment? Uh, if, if you read uh, our pitch, you will, you will see in our pitch that you have traditional and non-traditional uh, competition. The traditional competition, it would be the, the, uh, the, the big retailers. But they are in, in reality, they are not uh, our direct competition whatsoever. They can be, uh, become our partners uh, at a later stage. The, therefore, you have them, say, Colorway, Golf, uh, Ping, uh, uh, etc. And then you have non-traditional competition, well, which I also call analog competition is right. top golf top golf is right. becoming very popular but see top golf they've got facilities uh, they've, they've got restaurants they've got all sorts of uh, stuff they've got a site where everything's built this is a different uh, um, uh, uh, kind of competition in, in golf where it's global where it's digital and it's present everywhere so the, yeah. the overheads for the business are reduced to zero we don't need to build the or lease yeah. uh, uh, um, a site where we'll uh, have our store or a location where we'll play this. Uh, our members can take the device to anywhere they want and they can play, play it against anyone at any time. So that's the difference. Okay. Um, so kind of like, you know, that's most of the questions that I have um, just, you know, off the top of my head, you know, with us speaking, I think, I think you're in an interesting space. I think there are some challenges, you know, 
from an investor perspective of valuation of your business still because you know I, I understand your projections but you know obviously your early stage and the thing is the risks are higher for an investor at an early stage you know and, and of course it's a, you know technology is changing significantly i think um you know so there's certain challenges there on on valuation of business um kind of like execution with regards of making it affordable more mass market um but potentially you can do that i assume if you you know you're 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 producing a lot of units um and then you know the additional verticals that you have um within your business that's you know comes to execution as well so i think you know it's an interest it's an interesting model that you have and i can see the demand you know as i say you know i know having pl you know playing golf that you know it's, there's golfers are very passionate about about uh you know golf products and there's not many competitors out there in the market top golf i know um you know so kind of i'd like to maybe pick this up a little bit further and go into a bit more detail with you um maybe offline and you know see from there you know it's not a no for me um but obviously i i have concerns on those the valuation probably is one of the main things and i'd like to discuss that with you further absolutely and obviously on the execution side of it so absolutely. i think the best way would be for me to have you know more details me analyze those details more and then kind of i'd make a decision from there um based on you know those that analysis really fair enough i mean it's a fair call i i, I would just like to uh, point out one more time that uh, we shouldn't be focusing on the golf market only. Yeah. Um, this will attract our uh, predominant member base will come from gaming. That's yeah. where we are heading towards. Uh, that yeah. This is why we want to make uh, this affordable and accessible to the wider market, not just the exclusive market of golfers. Yeah. yeah. Um, golfers will love this. They will love this. And, uh, and, uh, and in comparison to the uh, economy level or class, if you want, uh, between the, 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 the members, the golfers, you know, are there where they can uh, quite afford, uh, uh, say, $30 a month and, yeah. and, and so on. It's an it's, uh, in, inexpensive membership for them, put it yeah. that way. No, so, compared to, uh, compared to a, a traditional golf membership, it's very, very affordable, of course. But I think, yeah, like, yeah. kind of the challenge... Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, to get into the kind of esports environment or the gaming that that environment is, you know, is a significantly growing area. You know, we look at a lot of esports deals. I think um, the challenges are the limitations that you have at the moment with regards to number of games. You know, versus something like you know a pure ga a pure game, as in if you, let's say you take FIFA. You know, as an example, you know, it's like they're not you you're comparing apples and oranges. So kind of I think there is a market, but obviously, you know, esports is growing so much and there's so many options out there. You know, it's kind of going to be challenging to come into that market. I think you've got to prove it maybe within the existing golf market, because that's kind of the bread and butter. You know, those people that they're, they're buyers and like you say, it's affordable for them and then really develop off there in a phase two, getting into more of like kind of the esports and gaming side of it, you know, looking for that type of user, but, you know, user base, so to speak, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, absolutely agree with you. These are all valid points, but I would like to ask you one question, if I may. Yeah. Um, right. Just play me for, for a second. Uh, how many games do you envisage within three meters uh, distance? Like, what, what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of variety we can... Uh, figure out how to no, i mean i mean i know the limitations because obviously putting there's only there's only so many games you can have within that space that yeah. that, that space and, and and because it's only putting but the point is is if you want to go to a mass a, a bigger market a mass market the reality is somebody that's not a golfer that's going to be their question you see because they don't understand golf yeah so yeah. it's going to be yeah. kind of yeah but this has only got seven options and you know i can go and play all these different games so you, you understand it's like kind of to scale that into more of a mass market non-golfing yeah. market yeah is, yeah. Dif is difficult because they don't understand that there's limitations on you can only develop so many games in, from for putting yeah so yeah. i understand that because i play golf but a non-golfer won't understand that yeah yeah of course look uh, i mentioned uh, number seven uh, as that's where we are at now 
we haven't uh, spent much time thinking of the games or number of the games now. Uh, there are golf uh, advisors around us. They've got them. They know what yeah. these games are. We just want to complete the, uh, the software interface first and get yeah. this uh, operational, and, and then the games will come. We can increase it to 50 if, if, if uh, someone wants it to, because we can sit down for, right. for, for a month. We can think of them and just think of the games. And, uh, you've, got, and, you, you've got a good imagination. 50, 50 games on, on putting that. That's that's challenging. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very difficult, isn't it? But we can add like what what we have. Uh, what I was talking about earlier. You can add different uh, uh, different things like this uh, bullseye target where you can yep. uh, you know put to there to there and get to the hole. It's it's still you know very exciting, especially if you're playing under pressure from other people that are watching you, just like uh, they're watching us now doing this pitch. You know, uh, <laughs> so you, you you can see where you know, especially if you're playing for money, you know, and and, and all, all that kind of uh, you know factors that you've got to factor in. So yeah. it's, it's become very exciting for uh, gamblers, if you want. Yeah. yeah uh, instead of uh, playing pokies, they may say, "Okay, I wanna, I wanna bet on 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 playing uh, uh, putting, you know, uh, just put, uh, you know, various games and and uh, focus on that." So we we yeah. really don't know because this is uh, this is a frontier still that hasn't been, uh, you know, uh, this hasn't been done. So we we really don't know uh, where it's it's gonna go. Well, I think no, I, gonna I understand that. I understand that. But I think kind of you know. You, even at an early stage, you have to have a plan on scaling, you know, because ultimately, if you don't have a plan on scaling, it's kind of, you know, what is the limitation? How far can you scale a business? You know, because ultimately, you need to know that particularly as an investor, um, the scalability factor. I think, you know, of course, there are, you know, I can see there are options. Um, it's just kind of how you're going to get there. Um, I understand you need, you know, without the software, it's only like 50% of the actual product or game yeah, yeah. um so i mean you know i, I kind of like i'd like to analyze it further um the challenge as i say you know is valuation i think the valuation is very high um you know for the stage that you're at you know kind of if you're flexible on the valuation then that's something that i, I believe you need let's to be. talk about it um but yeah let's have a further discussion and, yeah. and you know as i say i'm quite happy to to analyze in a little bit more detail and you know take a step back and probably have some additional questions and we'll see where we can you know go from there yeah absolutely i couldn't agree more with that it's it's a it's a very reasonable uh, uh step forward and um yeah i'm open to to all suggestions and solutions that we may discuss excellent perfect so we'll obviously reconvene it was great speaking with you today I appreciate you explaining everything you know, that you're doing. Um, you know, I think you're in a good space and, you know, it's just about, as I say, you know, some of those, some of those concerns that need, that need to be overcome. But um, yeah, let's obviously continue the conversation and, you know, I'll analyze the deal in, in more detail. And, you know, I think, as I say, it's an interesting space. You're in the golf space. Thanks very much for your time, Ben, and uh, I'm looking forward to continue talking or having discussion with you on this uh, subject. Perfect. Thanks a lot. You have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.